Now in this video, we're working on the off leg shot. Now there's four different ways to take the off leg shot, specifically when you're carrying the puck. One of them's out of the glide, another one's out of full stride, the third one is crossovers down your proper wing, and the fourth one is crossovers on your off wing. Now for the off leg shot, it's gonna be the right leg for a righty and the left leg for a lefty. It's the opposite leg of your load and shift or your open hip shot. Now I'm gonna shoot this puck out of a glide, a stride, or crossovers on my proper wing or off wing. To take the off leg shot out of a glide, I'm gonna be up on my off leg, gliding, holding here. And when I pull in and snap, I'm not changing feet or shifting my weight in any way. I'm just already on that leg. And then I'm gonna pull in and pop the puck. In order to take this shot out of stride, what I'm gonna be doing, whether I'm stick handling or whether I'm going from two to one, the puck's coming over and I'm not catching it. The moment I catch it, I essentially am gliding and that's your, your glide shot that we just talked about. What I wanna do here is I wanna get this puck as it's coming over, I wanna make my next contact my actual shot. So as you can see, I'm skating in out of stride and the puck gets fired immediately before I set up in any way, catch or glide in any way. And that's obviously gonna be, uh, you know, deceptive and catch the goalie off guard. Similarly, when I'm crossing over on my proper wing direction, I'm gonna take this shot right out of the crossovers. So what I don't want to do is glide and then shoot. I want to actually have my, my, my pull in as my right leg is in the air, I'm pulling in. So when it lands, the landing of the foot is simultaneous with the snap. Right as my foot lands, that's when I snap the puck. Now when I'm coming in on my off wing, I want to be stick handling here. And the moment that my right foot lands, that's the moment I shoot. So if you look at the coordination here, every time the puck goes to my forehand, there, 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 are the times when my off leg is landing. So basically the coordination makes sense that as soon as that foot lands, I'm gonna snap that puck off the off leg. Now, a really important thing to remember when executing this shooting skill is that in a game, you do not know what type of a pass you're gonna get or exactly the situation that you'll be carrying the puck in with. So you don't just get to go in and take your favorite shot. In fact, a lot of the high, high level players that we work with get into trouble because the one or two of their favorite shots, which are really effective through their younger years, all of a sudden stop working in certain situations and they don't have the tools to take the shots that are most appropriate for those situations. So make sure you practice these skills from all the different variations we just taught you, but also don't know ahead of time which one it's going to be. If you're receiving a pass, get the person passing to you to mix it up and pass in different locations so that you have to react and so that you have to take that shot that's most appropriate for that situation. Similarly, if you're skating in carrying the puck, set yourself up with some of our P2 drills that are gonna force you to take multiple shots from multiple different angles within the same drill. Last but not least, once you've mastered that, make sure you check out our P3 section where we start to combine all these shooting skills with the skills from the other chapters, such as stick handling, acceleration, agility, speed with the puck. These are the game situational blends that are gonna help you transfer these skills into your games.